All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode of Ayakashi Akashi. We are on our fourth episode, this should really be our third, but because of some technical difficulties and shitty equipment, this is technically our fourth episode now. Anyway, so when we last left off, we were learning about Ayakashi, and we were about to just go to the library. So, with that being said, I don't think there's anything to click around here, so let's just hop right back in. Yeah. We need to go search the library. Just turn it down a bit. I should have already preset the volume, but oh well. Alright, let's see how this looks. Alright, oh, that's cool. Climbing up some awfully creaky s steps, we arrived at the school library. It was a snug little room, but filled with a variety of, of books. There are history books, dictionaries, and even somewhat dated manga and novels. Are there books in Ayakashi? Allow me to answer as a library assistant. There are also books in that small storeroom over there, you see. And I believe we'll have better luck. Oh, it's been locked. Going back to the first floor, to borrow keys from the staff room would be troublesome. Mino can open it! Hang! Won't open! If you need physical labor, it's my time to shine. No, no, hold on. We can't, oh, we can't force it open. If we break the door, we'll be in trouble for sure. Then, um, how about lockpicking? Ah, what a thrilling notion. I cannot perform it myself, however. I bet Rakuro could, right? Hey now, what kind of life leads somebody to learn lockpicking? No, I can't do it. Eh, you've totally got the personality of someone who could! What the fuck's that supposed to be? <laughs> ah, don't think I'm sorry! <laughs> Consider the full extent of my life. Not just what I'm like. Er... I can do it, I think. Really? I mean, that's a surprising skill. Surprising is an understatement. I couldn't have imagined it for a millisecond. <laughs> I was at a show once, and when the director was looking for realism, he had me practice over and over until I could just do it. It was a while ago, though, so I can't be certain. Not picking. Then he's a liar. Mino has. <laughs> Mino has. What? In a treasure collection! Whoa, amazing! Is that an extra dimensional pocket? Treasure? You sure it's not garbage? You probably shouldn't say that with an earshot of Mino. Oh, wait, no, fuck. That was Haido, I think, right? Uh, that might have been Haido. Shit. I thought, <laughs> I thought that was the other one. Maybe not. Well then. Well then. Oh, hold on. Miss Yuri Nara, will picking the lock get us in trouble? It's fine in my book. <laughs> oh, that's good. Well then, I'll give it a shot. Ooh. With that, Naki turned to the storeroom door and began to work. Just as I found myself thinking, what a middle, what a middle, what middle schooler can pick a lock? There was a small echoing click. And with the twist of a knob. The door opened with a slightly unpleasant creaking sound. A few students watching raised their voices in admiration. Wow, it really opened! Is there even a point in security measures? In this case, I believe Sir Naki's skill should be applauded. <laughs> I don't think it's a very commendable skill. Well then, now we can scrape together some books. Please, give me a moment! Entering the storeroom with a forceful shout, Sasena started pulling books off the shelves at a rapid pace. I'll hold some books too. I'm a library assistant myself, but the duties always fall to her since I'm not around. Let Zero help too, he's super strong. Leave it to me. Sir Rakuro, won't you assist? <laughs> well, you gotta give the right job to the right guy, yeah? I'll go ahead and check these books for any info on Ayakashi. I'm the first victim, after all. 
that's more efficient, right? Hmm. Quite the convincing excuse coming from you, Sir Rokuro. Oh, wow, well, fuck you, okay? I know I'm lazy, but at least I'm trying to help. Thanks for the compliments, to say that, Uh, I'm not really one for reading. I guess I'll help carry? If Ia carries, Mina will carry too! If Ia jumps off the cliff, I will jump off the cliff as well! And Zero's like, oh yeah, I, I, that's a really good point. <laughs> well, I'll jump off the cliff! Woo! <laughs> no, no jumping off the cliff on my watch. All you girls are doing, I'll handle searching, I guess. Maybe I'll search as well then. That's more my style. The students went dividing up duties. Ultimately, the book carrying group and the materials searching group were exactly even size. So, how should we look this up? For now, we'll make our judgments based on Rokuro's cause of death, of death and predicament. You might not want to remember it, but if you could give a little more detail... I went home without making any stops, like usual. I sat at home like usual, too. At least, I'm pretty sure I did. And then suddenly, someone's standing right in front of me. Next thing I know, I'm in the class. I'm in the two-one classroom. And even though I changed clothes at home, I was wearing my uniform. <laughs> Before I could grasp the situation, someone gouged me hard enough to make my entrails fly. Yeah, basically instant death. You're really something, kid. Missionary Nara, I gotta use the bathroom. Go ahead. Okay. Uh. I had to shot like a rocket before I could even finish speaking. Well then, sure, to call that an extreme description is an understatement. How are, how are you even able to recall what happened so clearly? Hmm, well it was a mystery to me too. Well, what happens to people when they die? But then I experienced it. First my soul left my body, First my soul left- first my soul left my body. I was looking at me. A near death experience, or something like it, I suppose. It's not near death, if it- if he actually passed away, though. Glad it was a dream, but all the stuff I sensed wasn't very dreamy. It didn't hurt? Maybe since they went so hard, all my senses died before I could even understand the pain? My ears were ringing the whole time. I couldn't understand anything, except that, oh, I'm dying. Do you not recall- oh wait, okay, do you not recall who did you in? I remember, but I can't say it here. Why are you so unwilling? There's a sequence of things- there's a sequence to things, Yoichan. Now it's not the time. The time will come, Yoichan. The time when it's your time to die. What? Oh, sorry. Sorry, your I'm turn. your your turn to die. Sorry, I I I missed. I was trying to remember the game, and I, you know I messed up. No, not that. Is that for what? You're gonna kill me? Well, I mean, you want me dead. I mean, everyone here wants me dead. So they dream to me dying. That's truly the thing, right? So if I wish that you died, you will die in my dream, right? That's not the attitude you should be having. <laughs> It's amazing how you can remember that much. I'm like, what was I just dreaming about all the time myself? It's a miracle that I'm, I'm even still awake right now. So anyway, that Ayakashi, his attempt to kill me failed, obviously. Because <laughs> he messed with the omniscient, um, uh, omnipotent, what? And say, <laughs> they messed with the sage Rakuro shot. <laughs> when I exaggerated scale, that's the part where you're supposed to laugh, Yuki-chan. We're talking about serious things here. If you keep talking about serious stuff, won't everybody end up like Haito-chan? Yeah. So then, in what way will this guide us to our Ayakashi? To surmise what, from just from what we just heard, we have capable, we have capable of kidnapping people and capable of tearing up bodies. So, we need to only search for an Ayakashi that possesses th these two qualities? No, I want you to be thinking of them separately. Very rarely, there are Ayakashi that have incredible power, but 
In practice, overly powerful abilities tend to destroy their fragile bodies. A freshly dead amateur Ayakashi will be blown to smithereens. Calling an Ayakashi an a Calling an Ayakashi an amateur is strange in a lot of ways. The smart ones are apparently able to conceal themselves in our world without anyone noticing their unmaturing body. <clears throat> However, most are noticed by the people around them, and they come to talk to us. Though it's possible not much time has passed since they died. Actually, why would dying and being revived get them the mysterious powers anyway? I hear that the heightened power of the soul, caused by their attachment to life, does something or another. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fuck. Uh, <clears throat> there isn't exactly a point that you should be so vague on, is it? But if that's the case... That means there are two? At least. It's also rare for Ayakashi to cooperate, but it's not unheard of. Could there be others, I wonder? Personally, I'm most curious about the reversal of time. But, at the current stage, who knows if it was actually reversed or what. Since there's a possibility it was a prophetic dream or the like... I... I can't believe that was a dream! Kojima pounded a desk, shouted, <laughs> and shut. <laughs> no, I'm remembering. Remember, um, remember that show you saw back in November? And, like, um, there's that line that girl says. It's like, uh, it's like, um, it's nothing personal. Like, there is something personal! And he slams, slams on the table. That's just what I'm remembering. Of. Just, <laughs> Kashima, Kashima pounded on the desk, shouting to interrupt everything we were saying. There is something personal! Just walks out of the room. <laughs> Whoa. That's like <laughs> Whoa. That's like that's it's like he said when he died in his dream. <laughs> when his when his soul left his body. He says Whoa. I, I I sure like messed up. What are you shouting for all of a sudden? I find it much harder to accept that what I felt was just fiction. My happiness at being invited out after school the day before, and how I looked after Yuki when she collapsed, the way of Yuki's head on my legs and my thought of why Rakuro had to have to die. <laughs> the way you always treat me, you sure you didn't think serves him right? <laughs> serves him right? Of course not. Sure, Rakuro's not a good person, but he's not a bad person either. Oh shit, I skipped his dialogue. Um, whatever. Um, I heard a loud voice over here. What? Whoa, what's wrong, Kashima-chan? Did Rokuro finally make you cry? <laughs> Rokuro, you know... Oh, okay, I think I skipped... Okay, I think I skipped something he said. That's... <laughs> uh, I don't know what the fuck he just said. Uh, No, no! It, it wasn't me, okay? Kashima. You've been qu quietly enduring this the whole time. You did seem to have taken this incident the hardest out of everyone. I see. When you asked about this morning, I said probably just a dream and left it off. I'm sorry. I... I... Besides this recurve, I can't imagine there are any bad people in this class. L looking at everyone here, as a class president, I can't think anything else. You're right. It's unbelievable that there'd be a villain among us! <sighs> it's only fine to have ideals, but in the end, you're just hoping, right? Now hold on! You didn't have to phrase it like that! Then would you be okay with it if you died tomorrow, Iachan? You saw how I kicked it. I didn't die because I wanted to die. Somebody did the deed. Feel free to go a little more. Uh, yeah, feel free to go into a little more detail. Until nobody can help but believe there's a killer among us. Some dang and rampa shit right here. 
Rokuro, give it a break. Rokuro! That sounds like you're gonna go Oh yeah, it's like the same sound effect. That's weird. His body went numb from zero shell, the likes of which I've never heard before. Zero approached Rokuro, then lifted him up a little roughly with one hand. Oh, guys, about oh, to wow. strangle him. I'll, I'll borrow this. He's not an object. It just throws him across the library. Now apologize in your place. Shimachan, Ia, sorry. Why are you apologizing, Zero? Yeah, it's what curls. He's saying all that mean junk. He doesn't know. He just doesn't know how to use his words very well. Forgive him. You realize you're still agreeing with me that it's wishful thinking, right? You're some idiot yourself, Zero. Kazuma-chan, Iyo-chan, you shouldn't put that much hope in other people. I think you'll live more comfortably that way. Ow! Still holding on to him with one hand, Zero firmly hit Rokuro in the back with another. It's just like that, they vanished among the bookshelves. Oh fuck, my throat, my throat. <clears throat> wow, I never heard Zero shout like that. Uh, Kachima-chan, are you okay? Yes, sorry, thanks. I must admit, Zero Kuro's excuse had a bit of logic to it. But when humans interact with others, they hide the fact, they hide that which is, they hide that which is inconvenient to them. More importantly, we must quickly find our bearings regarding the Ayakashi. For our time is limited, isn't it, Mr. Yoinara? But teacher, is it okay to leave those two alone? Zero has a real stern look. It, it was kind of scary. Indeed. I'm curious about those two, considering how Zero was acting. However, Takashima and Ia feel after all that is also a concern. Like Tina says, if someone's going to die again tomorrow, we need to be quick in searching these materials. Al, what should we do? Uh, go out to the Um. Cause I feel like he's got. I feel like Zero's gonna like beat up Rokuro. That's what I'm thinking. So this is definitely where like the story splits, which is very interesting. Um, I feel like Kashima and Ia should be fine, yeah. personally, so I don't want to go for them. I don't want, like, Rokuro to get, like, beat up. Um. <sighs> Alright, we'll go after them. As you say, Riku, those two are a bit concerning. It might be a needless worry, but zero strength is no laughing matter. I'll go take a look. Right. Leave me to search... Leave me to search through the books. I think we can trust Riku. As much as he might be a little suspicious, I think he should be fine. I headed to the I headed for the shelves in the back to look for the pair. I found them standing side by side in a blind spot formed by the bookshelves. Mr. Yuinara, I apologize for shouting so loudly here in the library. It's amazing how there's not even a librarian here. No, th that's fine. I was trying to stop Rokuro myself. So, speaking of Rokuro. Oh yeah, I killed him. What What the fuck, Zero? You killed him? <laughs> oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> what? Were you worried Zero was gonna punch me or something? Well, yeah. Yeah, more or less. You wouldn't do a thing like that, Yoichan. Do you know that? And he just punched him. <laughs> I could do a lot more and just punch you. I thought it was a possibility, but he isn't behaving any different than usual. I was just worried about you, Rikuro. That's why I came over. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't seem like you care. Nah. Wakuro. Oh, uh, yeah. Wakuro says things with ill intent, but he doesn't properly think before he acts. Are you sticking up for him? Haha. <laughs> Zero never lies, remember? That's gonna be a very important plot point later in the game that Zero never lies. Well, I'll go back to helping. 
So long. Hey, if you just go back now... There's no problem if I'm helping sustain a child, right? You sure hang out with Rokuro often. And even go as far as covering for him. <laughs> Please don't say it like that, Monsieur Inara. At times, I envy Rokuro, and respect him as well. Can't imagine why. The thing is, before you get to know Rokuro, he does things like this, which put everyone at a distance. So, Mr. Yuinara, I ask you to kindly look upon Rokuro. You might ask me to explain myself, but he's not the kind of person who could be easily explained. Um... I won't give up on him. Or that's a total order. I won't give up on him. Huh? I won't give up on him. I'm not giving up as a student. I'm sure he has his reasons. Mr. Reynara! Right. You treat Rokura well for me. Okay. I better go now. Have to find some materials or else. Right. Man! I can't believe how many copies of the same book this place has. I'm returned books are a frequent occurrence, as I'm told. As I'm <laughs> told. As I'm told. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, there's much to be planning. Making multiple copies of everything, with the exception of them being stolen. Our principal, our principal's absurdly heavy-handed, huh? There's been playing a sharp. There, there's been a sharp decrease in that since I've become a library assistant. However, anybody who take anybody who doesn't return their books gets killed. What? Yep. Or at least I threatened to kill them. <laughs> uh. Wait. No, I'm confused. Who's the class president again? Uh, the girl from Death Note. Yeah. No. What's her name? I forgot. I this is this, this is no, this is Sasena. Yeah. No, I thought it was no, I thought it was her for a minute. That's why that's why it's so, that's why I'm so confused for a minute, because uh, I thought I thought Sasena was the name of the class president because I'm stupid or whatever. Parentheses, relatively speaking, close parentheses. But you still don't need, to, but you still need this many, huh? Well, how's how's the progress looking? A bit troubled. We still haven't found anything. We've been looking for Ayakashi with qualities resembling capable of, abduct of abducting and capable of tearing people up, right? I see. Should we help? Should we help look too then? Ah, uh, how about this one? The Albozu. There's also the. There's also the Yam. Yamanba, Yam, Yamanba, or how about the Shushi, uh, Shushi Gumo? Tengu. There's quite a few that could that could fit when it comes to abducting people. But as for attacking people, Kamaitachi. Oh, but they heal the wound. Wolfman. Do those count as yokai? There's also Nekomada, I guess. Well, anything to narrow it down helps. Finding a link to the events of their life will make it easier to get the specifics. Events of their life? Because Ayakashi have an abnormal amount of attachment to this world, you can expect their life provided a reason for that. For kids around your age, the most common thing would be familiar circumstances. Uh. So in other words, oh, <laughs> so in other words. Wouldn't that kind of matter? Wouldn't that kind of matter? They wouldn't dare talk about. Mm. Let me append a bit about Ayakashi. To send Ayakashi to the next world, they must be made aware of their death. And Ayakashi extremely dislike becoming aware of how they died. Only makes sense, I suppose. I wouldn't say an Ayakashi don't feel guilt, but their attachment to life beats out all other emotions. And Ayakashi were confessing. To their own accord will more or less never happen and more troublesome is that sometimes even they're not even even they're not aware they're in it ayakashi meaning okay kashima that's why I thought. okay uh anyway kush, uh, meaning 
You you have to expose them by force? In a case like this, where no one notices what they are, that you do. Gosh! Even when you're alive, though, there's all kinds of things you wouldn't want others knowing about. Yeah, it's utter absurdity to say that we should hand over our lives for such a reason. Because time was reversed once, it does not mean it will happen again tomorrow. In which case, someone's really gonna die. Uh, um, this is getting really scary all of a sudden. Still, there's no guarantee someone will die tomorrow. We have to do whatever possible to avoid the worst case scenario. But what do we do now? I'd like to go out and check some different materials personally. Can Mino go too? No, I'm afraid I can't think of a good excuse to take my students outside. But you can't just leave us either, right? Eh, we can manage something. If another teacher asks or whatever, we just need to get them some excuse. I'd appreciate if you could, but... We just gotta make a scarecrow that looks just like Mr. Yoinara! Ooh, that's... With a moth in the broom closet. I believe we can make something convincing. True, if we dip in a little ink... They shouldn't notice as a mop at a glance. Do I resemble a mop that closely? I know I'm really ugly, but like, <laughs> I know I'm okay. So I start crying. Mr. Mr. Ainara, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> like runs off crying. Don't talk to me. <laughs> jumps out. Jumps out the window. <laughs> well, we could just tell him that he died. You see, even better. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, go off and do your research! <laughs> we'll tell them that you died, but then you came back to life! Well then, I'll hurry out. You go back to the classroom. Understood. I'll keep a close eye on everyone. But the principal was walking around on the third floor earlier. There'll be trouble if he sees you and asks what's up. You're right. Maybe you should go during the break after this period? Hmm, that does make sense. Getting caught could be really costly. There's only about 10 minutes left. Guess I'll wait. Well... Oh. Students icon. Do students icon and talk with that group. By interacting with more students, you may encounter special events later on. Does any question mark for advanced time? Alright, so... I think we can actually stop there. Yeah. It seems like a good place to stop. So, we learned a bit about Ayakashi, uh, thankfully Zero did not beat up Rokuro, uh, I would have loved to see that visual though. Uh, but we're gonna stop today's video right there, if you guys like that, uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, um, and leave a like and a comment. And comment that, um, Mr. Yoichan looks like a mop, to make him cry. To make him cry, yes, we, yeah. gotta, we, gotta, we gotta make our teacher cry. Yeah. Uh, with that said, uh, I'm Ephraim. Uh, this asshole next to me is Ruben. Hey. And hopefully, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back tomorrow for another video. Hashtag right. Yui Chan's a mop head! <laughs> mop head? <laughs> Yui Chan's a mop head. I actually like that. <laughs> we're we're gonna call him mop head now. Everyone starts we're calling him a mop head. You say everyone, so we have a big fan base. No, I meant like the class. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, if that says goodbye, everyone. We'll Mr. see you tomorrow. Mr. Mop head. Alright, goodbye.